Hola a todos y bienvenidos a un nuevo episodio Civilization Revolution. <laughs> ok, don't get scared, people. <laughs> But probably that can give you an idea of what kind of civilization we're going to be using today, huh? We finally going to do the Spanish. Yes. Yay. I know a lot of people have been asking me to play with the Spanish. And um, I have to say it's one, one of my favorites one. And just we didn't just have enough time to to play with them already but uh it's something that uh it's way overdue and now uh, we're doing it right uh things little details that you need to consider when you play with spanish is the fast uh you get rewarder rewarded better when you do exploration at the first stage of the game pretty much when you find a landmark uh, places like that you get double the goal uh first of all let's try to set about a good location for Madrid before going any further, right? Um, two food, four trades, two production, I think it's, it's decent enough. Um, it would be perfect if we have a well around, right? Because remember, we got navigation. That's something that you really need to remember since you start playing with the, with the Spanish. Uh, first of all, remember you will gonna have access to the the well, and you can also build a galleon, which will allow you to do exploration way faster, right? So that's very important to consider. Um, we're gonna start right away with the two warriors, one or two, uh, two or three warriors to explore the area, try to get all the extra bonus gold that we can get. Um, after that, it's just trying to probably get our settlers as possible. That's one of the things that you need to aim with the with the Spanish, right? Because if you got that advantage of getting an extra goal for for exploring, well, let's try to get that hundred goal and get that settler going as soon as possible. Um, I think it's time. Yeah, you see, we got access to a couple extra things, but we're gonna go for the galleon, right? The reason is very clear. The Galleon allow you to explore the islands you're surrounding more faster, right? And there is a couple of the uh, wonders that you can actually access with the Galleon, like uh, the Atlantis. So we're gonna be trying to. I mean, actually, we're gonna get one Galleon right now. Um, two warriors probably for now will be enough. I don't want to get to. I don't want to lose the bonus of having navigation um, at this stage of the game, right? I mean, it's always important. It doesn't matter which civilization you use. You always need to manage yourself to to find another way to win, of course. But you can't forget those bonuses, right? And in this case, starting with navigation is a no-brainer. That you need to get that galleon up and running, and actually try to get the first expansion. There you go. La Mancha Forest will be beautiful. Uh, try to get some access to well with your first expansion, right? That way that expansion is going to be growing, growing, growing very fast. So, don't forget the little details about the Spanish. I mean, all the civilization got their own trickies. Hmm, just trying to... If I continue exploring this area, it really looks like a tiny... Island, right? Boom, we got our first settler. Yeah, it, it looks like it's a tiny island. I don't know, maybe going north to the right side of your screen. Maybe it can go further, but you know what? We probably put a city in here. We have well, uh, we have access to two forests. It's not too bad, right? Alright, we'll see what happens in there. But. Uh, okay, no more warriors for now. Let's do some <laughs> science. Let's do something productive. One thing for all. Okay. Yes, uh, it was a um, it was a city. I mean, it, it was an island. Just pretty. It's good for a change, right? Remember the <laughs> games. Um, for example, the Arab or the Russian. I was surrounded by everybody, so 
this will probably give us another uh, try to go for another kind of victory right try to change a little bit okay let's go for first uh, we'll probably go for path three now that it's an island so I can get the irrigation first if there is now the if the Egyptian is not here that will be mm, that will be good actually if I can get that bum bum mm, alright this will be a very different kind of game but again all the maps are generated randomly so that's the beauty that's why you honestly this is one of the um, there's not many games especially in console that I can play so often without getting tired and I will tell you right now Re Revolution even when it wasn't a big hit only for for us <laughs> for the big fans but um, it was it is one of my favorite games for, for console um, alright let's use the galleon before we get too emotional <laughs> and now that we have the advantage of uh, being on a small island I can start thinking and probably stop production and just get science and growing right and then probably uh, alphabet that will be good because I'm right now I'm doing everything in, in food and science in all the cities so they can grow faster right uh, let's use the galleon to explore the area. Hmm. Maybe I should probably bring one of the warriors in here so I can continue cleaning this and get uh, the gold bonuses. Hmm. That would be a good idea also to try to expand very soon. Again, in every game as we've been saying many 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 times <laughs> um, you always need to find a way to adapt your game to the situation right now we have the advantage of not having any direct neighbors so what about if we change our strategy and instead of again building just a couple small cities I can probably go any go further and uh, probably try to expand myself right like I had a real Spanish <laughs> oh this game is so beautiful um bum -bum, yep I will probably do that see the cities are growing very very fast which is a benefit and I don't really need to spend much production for now because I'm, I'm not planning to build any units unless it's a Archer or something like that, a defensive unit. Mm -hmm. Yep, but it's a good idea to use the the warrior to to continue the exploration, right? So something critical. Let's try to get that galleon as soon as possible. All right, there is no question about it. It's, it's too critical to have that advantage there. If you don't do it now, <laughs> well, uh, let's talk about the other bonuses of the Spanish, right? The first one is that we get navigation, right? We, in this era, we get some extra gold for for exploring. And in the next stage, if I'm not wrong, we got plus one attack for naval, for, for boats, and also the next one will be 50% uh, gold production and another one that is one of my favorite is plus one in production from hill in the in the modern era so that's why it's something that you need to consider when you build I probably already have an idea where it's gonna be my next expansion and I'm gonna try to get some hills around it so I can get that extra bonus in production right it's very important to come up with all those things uh, try to think right away the same time that you exploring the map you need to start thinking right away what's gonna be your next move because um, if, you, if you just wait you're just gonna see the computer or another player moving and taking advantage of the 
prime time locations, right? Ooh, the French. Wow, I haven't played against the French in a long, long, long time. Trust me. Well, okay. That will make it interesting. I need to try to stay away from the French because the, the culture is, is too much. So, I want to really... Um, see my city's getting flip. <laughs> awesome. We got the bonus of the irrigation. That's beautiful. So I guess the Egyptian is not in the game. That's one thing. And number two, that is really saving me more time. I mean, it's very hard to be in top of a technology race in the 80. But, uh, well, if you have this kind of things, getting the bonuses for technology, yeah, I mean, probably we can do it, right? So, well, you see, I'm doing everything right now in order to get those special bonuses for reaching some technologies first. Um, I mean, I have to do it, <laughs> right? I get the opportunity to expand myself. Very good, and this is this is very good. I like I like that we're going to we can show a game like this, so you guys can have an idea and another way to uh, approach to. A game, right? It's not all about domination or all about uh, doing one specific order of the technologies and everything, right? Everything change. Every game, every game is completely different. Sometimes you much better for to go for archers first, or sometimes it's much better go for the alphabet, right? All depends is what we're trying to accomplish, right? Um, and how the maps looks for you, right? In this case, uh, um. It's playing our favor, so I'm, I'm not complaining. I really gonna try to get that. Yeah, the location over there would be perfect. Uh, probably you guys saw that in in your mind already because there's two hills and also there is a well. So beautiful. I can get all the bonuses that the Spanish can get very fast. Um, and I'm really thinking in expand my territory even more, right? Maybe switch into the Republic if I can and get a couple of settlers see here I got it's beautiful yeah and um, having access to wealth and make it completely worth it to sacrifice the fact that uh, the other foot tile that is in surrounding that area is just a uh, plane so I'm need to build a granary so in this case I'm gonna just do it <laughs> it's a no brainer because uh, I have, I didn't have it so far. No contact with anybody, right? All right, plus one naval combat, so which is very good. So we can keep exploring, exploring, and if we come across something, we can put a stop right there, right? <laughs> That's probably a bonus that you're not gonna see right now in action, but eventually it's gonna make a big difference in the modern era, especially when you have cruisers and battle battle chips and things like that, right? That plus one it really makes a difference. Trust me. Okay, let's keep thinking. Okay, wow, look at the borders of the French. That's insane. So that's why I I, I don't can't go that way. Can't go that way because otherwise my cities are gonna get flipped and I don't wanna waste time building temples and all those kind of things right now. That's not what I need. I'm gonna just probably keep a unit in here blocking the access to all this area. Um I don't know, maybe it's a good idea. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably leave the explorer in there so I can keep using the warrior to explore the map, right? Right now my whole objective is look for some other locations. I'm already used pretty much hmm, eighty percent of the city. I mean of that island with the with the three cities that I have and um, I don't think I can put another one. Maybe I can will be smarter if I go to another island and try to get something extra, right? Yes. See, we're getting all the bonuses because we are so high in technology that uh, allow me to get all this stuff. Call of law probably is good. Mm, yeah, so we can uh, keep expanding. Let's go for that one. Alright, let's continue in the next episode.